Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slab Town Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. And today's tour is going to be of one of our latest builds. Uh, this is a tiny house build, road legal build. This is an 8 by 16 unit and we're right at 13.6 tall. Uh, this unit started out as one of our Ashland models and was changed and customized to meet what the, what the customer wanted. So this particular unit does not have the, the upper deck. Uh, this house we've called the, the Thad house. Anyway, uh, again, 8 by 16 built permanently on a two axle bumper pull trailer. We've got a 32 inch nine light in, uh, entry door. We've got a couple of 2030 windows on the side. We've got a 3030 on the other side. Uh, got some loft, loft windows as well. We've got a wood tongue and groove exterior on this unit that we put uh, several coats of clear on. On the back here, we've got a little storage area. Uh, we've got an on-demand propane water heater. You see a water inlet there. We've actually got a couple of a couple of water sources. We've got where this can be hooked to to city water or in an RV park, and we've also got a water storage tank up top in the loft. But anyway, we'll go in here and give you a little look around. Um, bear with me here a second, folks. Kick my shoes off, but. This is, uh, we've got our pine interior, pretty common for us. We've got a dark hickory laminate flooring in this unit. Uh, pretty well standard kitchen as in the other Ashland models that we've done several of those. We've got a double basin sink, oak cabinets, laminate countertop. We've got a two burner cooktop, toaster convection oven, some more oak wall cabinets mounted above. <clears throat> we've got a microwave, a little four and a half cubic foot freezer refrigerator. We've got it mounted over a little storage area to make it a little taller. Uh, there's a heat and air combo unit that will go in this particular window once it's delivered. Um, change the, the layout just a little bit from the other Ashland models as well. The bathroom, we've got a uh, full size three by three shower stall with our skylight material as we've done a lot of. We've got a, a porcelain uh, RV style toilet. And we do have a, a window in here as well, 203 old window in the in the bathroom. Um, if you head down towards the steps for the loft, we've got some storage shelves here. A lot of storage. Of course, that could be closed in part of it. Here, just before you get to the steps, we have two doors here, and these open to some narrow hanging closed rod storage. We've got two of them. We've got a rod up the top, rod at the bottom. Our steps, we've got the same laminate flooring, and we also have just a simple storage of containers in each step. Nothing fancy, but it is quite a bit of storage. Uh, go up here. We've got three windows in the loft. We've got three of these 2020 sliders, little corner shelf, one uh, window on each side, and then of course the one in the end. And down there in the far end, we've got uh, actually got a 40 gallon water storage tank. And then on the left there where the, where the doors are, we have, uh, we've got a solar panel that's on the roof of this house and we have our controller. We have an inverter and uh, battery storage there and just to, uh, to run the lights. The water pump uh, for the water storage tank if it's needed, that's 12 volt system as well. We've got all LED lighting in the house as well. We've got some LED can lights up here in the loft and then all the lighting downstairs is LED. So we've got our, uh, our same hickory laminate flooring up here in the loft and as you can see the loft is actually pretty spacious there's quite a bit of headroom up here so anyway it's another look at, at one of our builds um, if you have any questions about this house or any others or that we've done or custom unit as always you can uh, contact me through youtube you can send me an email at ozarksbest at yahoo.com or you can call or text me anytime